Bom dia, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin family YouTube channel for the newcomers, my name is Didi Taihutu, yes, I'm hodling Bitcoin, yes, it's time for plan B, yes, I believe in plan B, and yes, I believe in all the charts that you now will see, yes, I'm going to make a really cool short TA video with amazing charts, and these charts will show you why I think that this is next for Bitcoin. I'm not going to say what is next, I'm just going to say this is next. And enjoy the beautiful view here, the Zen view of the blue clouds, the blue sea, and uh, my pool and hammock. This is where I'm happy, my happy place, happy long time place. But I'm going to make you happy now because let's take a jump into the job. First chart, guys. This is, of course, yes, the chart on Oryx platform. Um, beautiful platform. Take a look down below in the comments. You find the link and you can sign up to Oryx as well. Soon, our indicators will be available all the way over there. The space in Oryx, uh, Bitcoin family section, we call it. Um, for our chart, guys, let's take a look. This for our chart. Yes, yes, we went all the way up to 41k. Bam, and we dumped again yesterday and the day before, and we are back again here at the bottom. Now the question is, are we going to go to 20k, 25k, 27k, 19k, 16k, 12k, 11 or 0? Um, I don't know why everybody is that negative. I really don't understand why everybody is that negative. Since the low over here, this was on the 19th of May, we had, no, sorry, the 20th, yeah, 19th of May, we had a low of around... I will zoom in so you can see it better because I always forget to zoom in. This one over there, this was a low at 30,000 US dollar. Now, this next low was around, can you see it? Okay, 31,107. How do you see this? On the top of the screen, when I move around uh, above these uh, candles, you can see the numbers over here, these numbers. So. The next low over there, that one was 31,025. That's a low. Here, this low yesterday, that's around 31,163. So this is not a lower low than this one. It might look like that if you look at the charts, that this chart, this one is lower, but it's not lower than that one. It's not lower than that one. It's not lower than that one. So, in my opinion, we are not creating lower lows. Now, let's take a look at the highs. We had a high over there. This was a lower high. This was a higher high. So, the market is a little bit indecisive, which means we are going sideways. And that is what I drew some time ago on the chart with a huge yellow line, that we should be breaking the huge yellow line before, um, you know, we can say that we are bullish again. And that line that is like, yeah, something like this. Let's draw it a little bit like this. If we break that downtrend line, because that's the trend line from the top to there, we need to break that one. And that will take some time. And yes, that can indeed mean that we will go up and down and up and down for some time. Um, and that's why I drew that the last time. Yes, we can go up and down, up and down. Up, but there will be a moment we break that line. And now a lot of people are thinking that we go below 30k and we dump to 20k. I still don't see that. I didn't see a lower low. As long as I don't see a lower low, I don't want to go low. <laughs> Let's say it like that. Let's jump into the next chart. Bam. Here. This is this bearish cross. Just zooming into the bearish cross one more time. Like you can see over here there was a bearish cross. That, that, that gray line. And after that bearish cross, the price went up. You can see that in that green line over there. The green line from the lowest low coming up to higher lows. Also, during the bearing crash, high, high, higher lows. Now, let's take a look at this one. We can zoom in again a little bit. 
yes we had a huge dip we had that bear cross and again here the green line is not going down but it's slowly coming up so we are creating higher lows and if we then look back again to that other bear crash over there you can see the moment we crossed the green line again with the price that is the moment we went go up again and then a little bit later so we went up from the moment from the green line 18 april and then the 22nd of may that was a golden cross and that was a huge run so for me just staying calm looking what the green line is doing hoping that this one is coming above the green line again then that will go up then there will be a golden cross and then we will have that huge run again to that 100k level that we all expect at the end of the year but let's go into the charts that that really tell us what we are doing at the moment bam here beautiful chart i don't think that my face is no my face is pretty nice in this in the screen and um, this is a chart uh, somebody sent it me to mo this morning in twitter but i thought let's show it on the on the screen as well um, how many shorts how many longs let's take a look bam this is the difference between longs and short at the moment so 93 percent of the people is long and only six percent is short so i think that 93 percent is long why do you think because do you think that the price is going to drop probably they think that the price is going up nice chart um, so not taking too long time to, to explain all of this but take a look at the chart I'm not being paid but it is called data mesh you can find a lot a lot of stuff about longs and shorts let's jump into the next chart. bam yes we need to tape peace uh, a little tempo because uh, I can't talk too long but then the video will be too long you don't want the video to be too long let's drink some coffee hmm the MVRV why do I like this chart the MVRV I'm going to tell you why I like this chart. First of all, I think, yes, my face is exactly in the chart. So, bam. I like this chart for the following reason. The MVRV, the market value to realized value, is the ratio between the market cap and the realized cap. It gives an indication of when the traded price is below a fair value. This metric was, cre metric was created by David Puel and Murat Muhawadov. I can't pronounce the last name now just to simplify it if we look at this period here 2012 we saw the yellow line slowly going up into that run crash and still going up they're still higher than there and then BAM the huge peak in 2014 then we had the bear time we went BAM down to that level below that dotted line and then again in the bear time we still have to build up 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 bam to the top in 2017 bam crash below that dollar line bear time then again we start to build up build up build up look this one is higher than there higher build up build up build up higher than there this is not the bear time this is not the bear time the bear time we crash bam down below that dollar line the one line and then we start to build up again this is still in the mid of the bull run like you can see over here this level is over here the level that we touched over there the level of around 1.7 that is where we are now 1.7 this is still the mid of the bull run that is my honest opinion here like you can see over there this level that is where we are and then we will still continue up in my opinion but yo, let's jump into some other really cool charts so you understand even more why I'm still bullish and not bearish. <laughs> I need to check which one. Yeah, this one. Bam, over here. And then I need to put my face on another place again. Oh, look, now I can make my face bigger so you can enjoy the beautiful, beautiful blue skies. <laughs> Guys, oh my God. Yes, I'm always uh, this uh, happy in the morning. <clears throat> I didn't want to start with this chart, but now that the chart is on my screen, I will start with this chart. No, I will skip this one. Bam. I will start with this chart. So let's take a look at why I do still think that this is a bullish time. And why I think that's why I did, did, did I still think that is because I always need to see how many new entities are entering the market how many bitcoins are held by the small cap investors by the big cap investors and that is how you can analyze if we're still in the bull market or not so let's take a look let's take a look a short look all the people i can't draw on this chart i don't know what it is all the people that have a balance between 0 0.1 and 1 bitcoin 
you can see on this chart they are buying the dip they are going they are increasing so there is more supply held by people between that hold bitcoins between 0 0.1 and 1 bitcoin okay so those small fishes bam they are all buying the bitcoin let's jump to the next one bam over here i think my face ah, my face is always in this screen this one over there these are the entities with one bitcoin to 10 bitcoins like you can see in the top over here ah this now i can draw again so yeah there what are they doing they are buying the bitcoins so also the people that hold one to ten bitcoins they are buying up the dip they are not selling they are buying up the dip wow let's see so the small fish are buying the little bit bigger fish are also buying so what are now the next bang fishes are buying let's see what they are doing ah these hold 10 to 100 bitcoins you can see over there on the top again are they buying these let's see hmm yes they are buying the dip as well so even the bigger fishes like the sharks or how do you call them they are 10 to 100 bitcoins big they are also buying the dip so they are not selling they are also buying ah hmm let's see what my friends are doing <laughs> <laughs> the wills no i'm not a will i wish i was a will but let's see what the wills are doing here the 1k to 10k uh, bitcoin hodlers ah they not selling they are also buying the dip not as extremely as the small fishes but they were all freaking out and selling a lot so they need to buy more and these long-term big whales 1k to 10k wallets they didn't sell that much so they can accumulate a bit by bit and these are also holding and the 100k yes that's my category <laughs> oh my god 100 to 1000 bitcoins um oh, uh, 1k bitcoins yes that's like shit load of bitcoins 100 to 1k bitcoins um, they are also buying that dip not selling accumulating if people accumulate they mean or they think that the market is going up not down but up <laughs> up <laughs> let's go to the next chart guys bam really cool chart because the moment we are in a bear market hmm, the moment we are in a bear market you don't see new entities entering the market you don't see not new wallets be created you don't see new um, people in the bitcoin market and what do we see now we can see if we take a look at the seven day moving average of the net entity growth so that's how they call it look we are going from there up 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 yes at the crash ah oh, people were doubting to entering the market yeah maybe it's going to zero let's wait oh no bitcoin is slowly recovering ah so mm, we will enter no we are crashing again ah less people and now again more people are entering the market new blood is getting into the market this is a uptrend not a downtrend new people entering the market means that more people believe that bitcoin is still going up why would they else enter the market they are starting to dollar cost average or they're starting to just you know go all in into bitcoin all of these charts are very positive to me so bam over this one here this is the liquid supply chains here you can see i don't know if you can see yes you can see is my face not on the wrong place oh, man i keep but if you look at this chart this is the liquid supply chains this means when we are in this red area this is mostly when the bitcoins go illiquid illiquid means that they are not on the exchanges anymore but that they are taken to hardware wallets taken into long-term storage and this here is happening again yes here they became liquid in this area people were selling their bitcoins because they were liquid on an exchange uh, exchangeable sellable here now they are becoming illiquid again and mostly when they become illiquid people start to huddle and mostly the price then starts to increase again so that is a really cool chart and then the uh, last chart bam maybe the most important chart oh no it's not about the price that is probably when it's the mo why it's the most important chart but this chart shows you something very important the technology adoption curve and if we look at the bottom of this chart guys then we can see this one over there the millions of growth in the global internet users from 1992 to 2006 
that is the white line this was the growth curve the white line of the internet users from 92 to 2006 that was a huge growth curve and now we take a look at the total crypto users growth curve we are now somewhere over here that is 1997 in the internet period can you see how hard we are growing we are growing to 1 billion crypto users maybe in 2024 maybe even to 3.7 billion crypto users in 2030 if we continue this growth curve it's the fastest and the best growing growth curve ever even bigger than the internet and you all know how big the internet influenced our lives in the last decade just imagine this new technology blockchain growing faster than the internet how big that change can be for your life now let's jump now into the last part of the video this part bam for me we are still in a bullish trend i i don't see a bearish scenario that we drop to 20k or 10k but that's me and i'm just a dude sitting on this terrace that believes that he needs to huddle his bitcoin that believes in time plan b that believes that trading is nice to make a beautiful living and has made that living already now for five years traveling the world 42 countries with a family of five three daughters and a wife so yes i believe i did make some profits because else you you travel the world for five years and then calculate how much that will cost and you know you need to earn some living because else it's not possible and i I make that living because of trading and I'm not the best trader I'm not the most professional trader I just have some cool indicators that help me with trading why I make more profits and I like to analyze these charts and I like to analyze other people's charts to show you the different opinions into the market not only my opinion also the opinion of other people that spend a lot of time in creating these beautiful charts for you guys so that was the video for today I hope you really enjoyed this video I hope you really enjoyed the charts I hope you understand the charts if you don't understand them comment down below but if you did like the video give the video a thumbs up share it with your best friends and family uh, subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell and please leave a comment on these charts or on my beautiful it's time for plan b plan v t-shirt and my beautiful cap guys thanks for watching hope you enjoy your day to the fullest i'm going to enjoy because i think it's going to be a sunny day over here in albufera portugal thanks for watching see you later today or tomorrow again Bam. You better pray much more